Alright, so uh, everybody knows that you can evade cheese Gilgamesh. I'm just gonna show it to you. Uh, evade equipment, evade, 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 evade. Alright, let's go. I think I just keep doing this. Okay, so uh they're not gonna take any damage at all, probably, if I'm not wrong. You can do it with Noctis and the Link, but you need two units because uh, nothing evades death, the skill that he does when he reaches the threshold. So you're gonna need to uh, res yourself once one dies, uh, one of them dies. So. You can't do a solo unit yet in Gobo. You need safety bit. Safety bit is in the next island uh, from the fat chocobo. And when it comes to it, you can just auto Gilgamesh with a full evade unit. Okay, so Ring of Lucai is good because when he counters, you get MP back as well. So it's not an issue at all, uh, MP, you can just keep going and going. And as you can see, my MP keeps regening, that of course with auto regen as well. Uh, it's not going to be an issue the whole fight. I mean, this is a way of cheesing Gilgamesh, which if you have the stuff to gear him with, it's pretty good. So he got death, got a resin. So this is the 80% threshold. Uh, if you're doing it normally, you want to keep, keep in mind all the thresholds and stuff. Otherwise, you can just cheese it. I think I made a mistake. I shouldn't have equipped the fire katana on Noctis. I should have both on Excaliburs. I mean, as you can see, the amount of turns needed for Noctis Limit Burst to be up is extremely extremely slow
Okay, the next trash fall is at 50%. We're reaching that soon. There are a number of ways to do Gilgamesh. You could do a one turn kill if you have the TMs and stuff. Uh, I've seen it. Someone has done it with uh, three uh, olives, I think, and Shizuru's. You've got to time it well, but it's possible. Uh, this double unit bait cheese is not the first time anyone has done it. A lot of people have done it already. Uh, I'm just going to show it to you since it's Sunday and I've got nothing better to do. So this is a trash hole. And then Global Gilgamesh, if you watch my other videos, he has a unique skill that is only in Global. Um, he only uh, does this skill if you do not proc the Lightning, Magic or Hybrid Element skill on him. after the 50% threshold, so keep that in mind. You want to do that every single fucking turn. Alright. Otherwise he's gonna do... I think it's X slash or something like that. I don't know. So if you use Noctis to cheese him, you don't even need uh, MP regen, you don't even need to use items because the Ring of Lucai is going to give you MP every time he counters. So I have both units at 100% evade right now. So whatever physical attack he's going to do is not going to do any damage. You have to cover the holy element because that skill is hybrid I believe and it's gonna hurt as you can see my MP is always uh, I always have enough no matter what happens he's gonna death when he reaches the 30% uh, so one of them is going to die, if I'm unlucky. It's not really a quick way of doing Gilgamesh. Because it does take some time, since because of having 100% eva evasion on the unit, you sacrifice a lot of attack. Uh, so the damage is not going to be so amazing. And of course, uh, Gilgamesh has innate um, resistance to physical and magic as well. But it is actually one of the easiest ways to deal with Gilgamesh. So this is the 30% threshold.
so now my units are extremely debuffed. Damage is even lesser right now. Ah, just a few days ago, I got an 8 Noctis, which is making me sad. Could have been something actually useful. I do not even know if I'm gonna grind out an 8 Ring of Musai. I mean, I could be a pain in the but <laughs> I don't think it's worth the time and resources needed to grind it out. Anyway, if you do not have a full Evade Noctis and you want to do this shooting method, you can have uh, your own team of uh, healers and rezzers and just always uh, make sure that Noctis is going to provoke and he's going to cover a lot of damage for your team and you can just cheese the trial and get the Genji Sword, uh, Genji Blade plus the 30% attack so like 4 units of yourself and then one friend unit that has full evade uh, wherever you're going to find that from I'm pretty sure you can just uh, request it from a friend of yours so basically clearing Gilgamesh is, isn't a problem for anyone in the game uh, if you need to you can stack healers you know have 4 healers and you won't even have mana issues take time, just keep rezzing the Noctis and provoke, use fish. Okay, so we're gonna kill him with the limit burst just to clear all the missions. Oh, he's gonna die before that. Oh, he isn't. Okay. okay. So we're done with this trial. All missions clear. Uh, cheesing it with two evade units. A lot of people have done it already. It's just that I just felt that it's a waste of time to show you guys, but might as well. Okay, so in global, evasion stacks to 100%. You can go higher, but it's not gonna help you anyway. Uh, Vampire Cloak gives you 10% evade. Ring of Lucy 25%, so it's 60%. Right here, 50 on the rings. And by Vampire Cloak gives you another 10, so it's 60%. Plus two quick assaults is 80%. Plus passive, uh, 20% on Noctis is 100%. All right, so the other one, you can see the attack is really low. Uh, double ring of blue side, fifty percent. Innate, seventy percent. So another three. One, two, three. Thirty percent. So hundred percent evade, and you're golden man. Uh, the trial is gonna be easy for you. You can cheese it with a friend unit which has hundred percent evade. It's not gonna be a problem for you. Bring units that can res. Noctis can res. Um, Luca, why the fuck am I just? Raphael can res. Link can res. Okay, bear in mind, Luca and Link's res is not full res. It's uh, I think it's twenty or thirty percent HP. So you res the unit, it comes back with twenty or thirty percent HP. Alright, so keep that in mind. Hey guys, thanks for watching. See ya.